Okay, so now, today, we're still in Cabo San Lucas. Same spot we've been fishing, but now we've around the corner, down this really big mountainside, and um, we're gonna be fishing this really deep hole right here. And we're gonna be testing fresh squid versus salted squid. Which is gonna work better? What kind of fish are we gonna catch? It's a very big mystery here because there's all sorts of fish I've never caught here before. I'm excited to see all the different kinds of fish we'll be able to catch using this bait. And I hear squid is one of the best baits to use here. So let's get on it. Holy Whoa, it's a grouper! Okay, let's cut up some bait. So, we've got our salty squid here, and we've got real squid here. And honestly, I like to use both at the same time. This fresh one works really well, but it's so soft that it gets bitten off in like one or two bites. So I'm just gonna cut it up now. Very soft and delicate, delicious meat. Fish love, and I cut it into strips just like this. Take those guts out. Strips, long strips. Okay. And that's one, two, three, four pieces right there from one calamari, right? Okay, now I'm gonna cut some of the squiddy bits, which is a bigger, a much larger squid. This is called a jumbo slab. Look at this. Freaking enormous. Look at that guy. Right? Now we're gonna cut this. And this is really nice because you can just cut whatever shape you want. It's a huge canvas to work with. Look at this. Woohoo! Let's cut that. Okay, now we're gonna put this away in the salt. Ready? Cut it in half. And let's cut strips. Woohoo! Woohoo! You see how easy it is to cut this versus how hard it is to cut the other? Now these strips are great. This will drift really nicely. And I like to cut them at a little bit of an angle. Give it a little fork tail at the end. I mean, give it a little pointy tail at the end. Like that. And there we go. That's our salted bait. That's our fresh bait. When this hits the water, it'll, it'll take on water like this and look very similar to when it did when it was very, very fresh. Okay. Look at what they're doing. Man versus wild. <laughs> We're gonna smash this to make this a chump. Oh. And then we're using a big one. Pick them out, use the bait. All right, here's how I'm gonna do it. This squid I'm gonna put on like this. But you'll see how easy it comes off. It works so freaking well though. For this one, I'm gonna cut a little bit smaller. Like that. Put it on here like that. You're doing both on the same? Yeah, because this one's gonna get pulled off real quick. So if that happens, I've got another piece on. You see? All right, come here and cut up some squid, Jack. Now I'm gonna go fishing. I'm gonna try and fish. That, that's the hole in here. This is a good hole right here. That might be a good hole right there. We're gonna stand right there. Right here. Try and stand right here. But it's kind of dangerous. We're gonna be on that rock right there. We're gonna try to stand on there and pass into this pool right here.
Little one. Both baits are still on. So since there's so many rocks out there, I decided I'm going to try using a float rig. So it keeps it all above the rocks without getting all tangled up. I free, was free lining it before, but the waves are too heavy for it to, um, for me to really feel it. So I want to visually see it. really cool looking one. That's really nice. Aaron, come around this side. Come on this side. No, show Aaron. I didn't catch it. He caught a weird looking grouper. Look, it's pretending it's a stone, Aaron, look. It's pretending it's a rock. Yeah. Look at this crab. It's pretending it's a stone, look. But it's just stiffed up, completely stiff. Not moving at all. Look. Pretending it's a stone. So it gets washed around like a pebble and it looks unsuspecting, look at that. It looks like a rock. Very cool.
Oh yeah! Hey! Got one! Got one on the squid. That was a nice one. I fell down trying to set the hook. This is a good size to eat. Nice little football. Let's put another piece of squid on and try another one. That, that fish was behind this rock that I saw. I was letting it drift out in that white water. And then all of a sudden I saw my line moving really fast. So I set the hook, but I slipped, tripped, and I kept reeling it in as I was on the ground. But uh, ended up landing it. We're gonna keep that one to eat tonight. Let's do the same thing. Bait it up with the same bait. Half fresh, half um, salted because these fish are, there's a lot of little small fish here that like to steal it too. You have to weed through all these small fish to get a big one. Another one. These guys are freaking strong. Got my bait back. Yeah. Bye. It's a grouper. I got a grouper. That's Hell yeah. Huh? That's a keeper right, there. A keeper right by here. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's the one you got, right? Yeah. That one just hit it and run right there, right there. Grouper. All right, look at that. On a piece of fresh squid with a big chunk of squiddy bits on it. Or, this is my first grouper here. This is, ow, it's biting me. Ow. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Look at that. That thing's mouth. Look at the teeth in here. So sharp. There you go. Look at that grouper. That is so nice. We're gonna eat this one up for sure. Okay. We're gonna grill this thing whole. Thing hit and run real quick. Ready? Yeah, really quick. See, look, I still got my bait back. This was in the grouper's mouth. Got it all back, no problem. But I found that I put a nice big chunk on and I got that grouper because I put a bigger chunk on. I have a feeling because I had smaller, more slender pieces before. But now this big old chunk, I think I'm gonna try putting more bait on. All right, let's give it another try.
Oh, you're on? Oh, you're on! Huh? Oh. Oh, that's a good spot right there, yeah. See this right here? See that? See this hole right here by that rock? That's where I got it right here. You have to wait till the calm water and then and then put it in right here like this. So that should be a good hole there too. Oh I got some more squid back there. Put like half the whole squid on there. Took the whole thing and stole everything, including my, my squiddy bits. Good morning. A ton of little fish. It's getting really hot, so it feels really good to sit in the water, taking a break for a second. The tide is going out. I'm getting tired. It's getting hot. I have two keeper fish that we're going to cook up right now, um, and I'd say that's a successful morning. What did you learn today? Huh? Did you learn anything today? Yeah, you... I learned that this the tide that I was fishing this morning was pretty difficult to fish uh, because the waves were so hard and... and because the waves were so powerful and there was not many rocks to stand on to fish and since the waves were really moving everything so much it was hard to drift fish that. I tried to fish with a bobber that didn't work that well. I just kept getting stuck. We got a lot, a lot of little fish, smaller fish, but we did end up getting two nice sized ones, but that's kind of how it always goes. I put bigger pieces of bait on there and little fish just steal the whole thing. But with the bigger pieces of bait, I catch the bigger fish. So you end up wasting more bait, but you end up catching bigger fish. Comment below, what's your preference? Some people, they love to just go and catch smaller fish. They have no problem. It's quantity over quality. But today for me, I wanted to get some keeper fish. Jack's up there catching and playing with all sorts of little little inshore fish, and he's probably having a blast. I saw him catch at least four different species. That's really fun. But when I'm trying to go get some dinner, little hooks are just gonna just not gonna cut it for me. Um, the bait worked really well. Fresh squid always works super well, and this was very fresh squid. Problem with fresh squid is that it keeps getting picked off so quickly, and it's also really sensitive to sun. It's really sensitive to like being squished. That's why it's so nice to have the squiddy bits, the, the salted squid, to go with it. And I really like keeping fishing really simple like this. Hook, leader line, and some bait. That's all you really need to have a good time. 
here at Hay Scooper, we want to help you get on fish. We fish all over, everywhere, many different methods, and we document what we learn and we share with you guys how we did it. So if you're interested in our adventures, follow our channel, Hay Skipper Fishing. Um, if, you are, if you want to learn more, visit our website, hayskipperfishing.com, where we sell the baits. We sell a big kit with all the baits in it at one time. You should just get that, get a few of our hand tied rigs, and go straight to the beach. You'll catch a lot of fish, and it's going to be really simple. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.